Jeopardy packs droging and butterscotch. We're on our way. Who was it? The Girl Scouts lawyers again? That was the commissioner. You will never guess which unduly famous TV personality made the most wanted criminals list this week. Phyllis Diller? Gavin McCloud? Wake Martindale? Close. Myra Stump, the darling hawk of daytime talk. Myra? As in America's mom? The woman who told Tom Hanks to get a haircut? Surely you guess. She's holding her audience hostage and giving them valuable gifts against their collective will. I don't normally endorse the use of the word dastardly, but this is clearly dastardly, I think. We've got to drive over to the station right away, or at our earliest convenience. Great! I've been itching to bust some skulls since they cancelled my so-called life. Hello and welcome back to part 6 of Sam and Max Save the World playthrough. And the very first part of Situation Comedy. In this episode, another TV uh, celebrity has gone mad or something. So, we have to get down to the station, but first let us see if there's anything in the office we could use later on. Oh, the Brady Cultures here. What? Uh, Brady Cultures here. It makes for an unwieldy, but oh-so-enchanting memento of our first case in a long while. He howled like a sick wallaby when I shaved it off him. Good times. Okay, we couldn't pick that up. So, let's see, what about the coat hanger? What do you mean? The reception's perfect right now. Nope. What about the VCR? I bought that VCR at the supermarket. So you know it's a good one. Still smells like asparagus, though. Oh, I see the entering machine is blinking. Let's see what's on it. Sam, it's me. Open the window. I'm trapped in the ledge again. Whatever. It's your inventory. Speak gun and tear grass. Grenade launcher. Finally, that's Sam Max. <laughs> hey, that was fun. Whatever. Thing there, I think. Oh well, put it back and let's get out. Go to the DeSoto. Today she's Where are we going, Sam? Tabloid rack. Okay. Let's get to the TV the studio. TV studio. Goody! Well, here we are, Max. The TV station with programs too old to be contemporary, too new to be retro, but consistently derivative enough to be popular. W.A.R.P. Television's so mindless, you can't help but watch. Oddly quiet in here. Mysteriously so. Well, let's find this Myra character and smack some good old-fashioned sense into her. 
I don't care if we smack it into her or smack it out of her, just so long as there's smacking involved. You crack me up, little buddy. Uh, in case of fire, this door will be locked and the camera switched on for an impromptu reality show. Whoa! Barrel Haven said. The Barrel Haven. From whence comes this storybook set? Clearly from a work of unparalleled artistic vision and emotional expressiveness. No wonder I haven't seen it. Director's chair. It's got a falling star on it. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. How I wonder how you'll crash and burn. Uh, yeah. Once used for apples, now used for derrieres. Uh, let's talk to the director. Stand aside, casually attired stagehand. We're Sam and Max, freelance police. We've come to save some pathetic hostages from the clutches of... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. Number one, I'm not a stagehand. I am the director. The director! But a fool. Number two, we're no longer holding the auditions for animal cops with crippling mental disabilities and a lust for dance. Oh no, we're not actors. You got that right. I don't think I've ever seen worse acting in my entire life. And yes, I have seen Keanu Reeves' performance in Toast, the musical. Sam, I think my hypersensitive ego may need stroking. Don't look at me. Next! Who's next? Seriously, we are police. We are looking for Myra. What are you doing here? See you later. Uh, we're looking for Myra. We're looking for Myra Stump, the darling hawk of- Do not mention that name in my presence. Which name? Myra or Stump? Either and or both. What's your beef with Myra? Let's just say Myra and I have creative differences. I'm creative and she isn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, what was your question? We police. You don't seem to understand. We're highly untrained police officers. Look, hats off for dedication, guys, but I'm just not buying the police act. I feel so invalidated. Why don't you like Myra? You and Myra. Why the hate? Look, Myra runs her show her way, and I run every other show my way. If she doesn't want me on her set, I could care less. You mean you couldn't care less? If you could care less, then you do care some, which doesn't really... No, I was right. I could care less, because I care even less about what you're saying right now. Oh, burn! Quiet, knucklehead. What are you doing here? What are you doing here, anyhow? What am I doing here? I'm holding auditions for Midtown Cowboys. What are you doing here? Midtown Cowboys? The critically panned but publicly adored sitcom about two cattle ranchers trying to make it in Midtown Manhattan? Yes, well summarized. You're hiring extras? No, I'm hiring the stars. The two main characters went on Myra a couple days ago and I haven't heard from them since. I need replacements ASAP. Sam, did you hear that? If we can pass one lousy audition, sitcom stardom will finally be ours! Rocketing to fame for the most insubstantial of reasons. That truly is the American dream. Well, sounds like we got our way into the show. We'd like to apply for that instant stardom you promised? You want to audition? Well, if there were anybody else here, I'd tell you to forget it, but okay. Alright! What do we do? I'm going to have you play a scene from Old Yeller. Tell me you've seen it. I'm not into horror movies. It's the classic boy gets dog, dog gets rabies, boy shoots dog story. Max, I want you to play the boy. Yes! Boy! That is so me! And Sam, you play the dog. Oh. Okay, Sam, ready. I need you to act like you've got full-blown rabies. Understand? What's my motivation? You're a mad dog! Now! Show me, rabbit. Um, grrr. No, dig deep. You should be just frothing mad. Hmm. Can I get rabies with a big gun? Cut! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm not hiring a dog who can't even do a simple rabidity scene. I don't know what went wrong. I was feeling so rabid. You look pretty disease-ridden to me. Come back after you've taken a few thousand acting lessons. And we have taken the oh, two thousand. 
Yes? Can we take another crack at that audition? Fine. Let's take it from the top. Ready, Sam? Show me rabbit. Cut! Quit stalling and... I don't know how I could be in... You have to be froth. Once used for... Oh. Hello, Just again. Caught some of yes? This. Can we take... Yes, should we Fine. watch back... Let's take it from the... I don't know. Use her? No. Let's look hey, Max. What is it, Sam? Perhaps I should ask the expert. What's the secret to seeming rabid? You can't learn rabid, Sam. Either you've got it, or you don't. And Sam, you don't. Not yet, anyway. Enough talk. Let's boogie, little buddy. Lights, camera, double-barreled action. Let's look around some more, see if you could go into the door. Probably not. Hey! Actors nope. on but Yeah. Uh, let's see, let's see. Let's try cannon. I hope that's just a prop. I hope it isn't! There's only one explanation for a propeller on the wall. Yes. This TV station is a giant flying battleship! Either that, or it's just a prop. Huh, get it? I vote for the giant flying battleship. Let's try and go over the ship. Remember that you could run, but it doesn't seem that I can anymore, apparently. Or maybe that's in the newer uh, seasons. Sam! Max! How nice to see you! I don't suppose you have any candid photos of little green men feeling frisky, do you? Yes. By which I mean, huh? It's my new career! I'm a tabloid publisher specializing in the thoughtful analysis of groundbreaking news of interest to myself and others like me. What's it called? The Alien Love Triangle Times. So you're a publisher now? So you're a publisher now? What happened to psychotherapy? I've always had a fascination with the suppressed and the sensual, and for telling people too much about both. Publishing the Alien Love Triangle Times is a logical extension of all my previous careers. Except maybe Vatican spokesperson. Are you doing any psychotherapy on the side? Only on space aliens. I guess that narrows your clientele quite a bit. No, not really. <laughs> okay. How about a quick analysis, for old times sake? Oh, all right. Think of a number between one and four. Three and a half. You're harboring feelings of guilt over previous feelings of remorse. That's so true. Well... There's nothing like good, hard-nosed journalism. You said it! It's time to find out the real answers to the real questions. Like what did those poor cattle do to deserve that? No! What do aliens do for romance? Do they love? How do they get their otherworldly thrills? By playing slots in Kino? That'd explain why they're always seen in Nevada. Uh, don't think we get anything we'll out of here. Keep watching the supplies. Well, let's go out and see if Stinky's actually open, like I said. Tabloid rack. God, I love that name. Close still, so it's 
Na Logan. Let's try both schools then. What ho, Samuel Maximilian? What the? You're probably wondering how I know your names. Not really. Psst. It's me, Bosco. Yeah, it's Bosco. You're on the wrist. Hands in the air, Bosco. You're coming with us. Good heavens! What is the meaning of this? We're taking you in for masquerading as a man of class and distinction. What the devil? Surely you chest. Yes, surely we do. On the bright side, now you can add the police to your long list of oh, paranormal and cream. nightmare subjects. Pishaw, piffle, pishwash. Pishwash. We want to buy something. Mm, yes, mm, uh, quite so, quite so. What you... What have you got? Well, there is still one kind of shaving cream the blooming skin bodies haven't got yet. Oh, yeah, I love shaving. That's funny, I've never seen you shave. I didn't mean myself. And I have a most peculiar device behind the counter. What's behind the counter? What peculiar device are you so eager to pawn off on us this time? It's the latest in Bosco Tech innovation. A delightful invention I like to call a chemical-based voice modulator. Voice modulator? What's that? I do believe it's self-explanatory. We don't really have time to explain it to ourselves. Why don't you just explain it to us? Well, it alters the frequency of your voice molecules. Very useful, very useful. We'll probably need that later on, so see We'd if we like can get that give voice us. modulator. That will be 30 shillings. Yeah, I left our shillings in my other pants. How much in dollars? Let's see here. Uh, 30 shillings would be about 1 million American dollars. A million what? bucks? No way are we giving out that many tickets. I think we'll have to find an entirely new revenue stream if we want that voice modulator. Worth every shilling, trust me, trust me. Let's start with the shaving cream. We'll take your last can of shaving cream, old chap. Splendid, spiffy, tickety-boo. Just bring it to the counter. Nothing for us right now. Indeed. See ya, Bosco. Thanks, Bosco. Pip pip, honey nut cheerio. Honey nut cheerio. I could use a shave. I'll say. Your five o'clock shadow goes clear to your ankles. Pause up, pig, dog, pig, dog. The skin bodies rule the streets. Yes. Black, what black, the black, hell? Ballot. The little bladder did it again. After him, I mean. Uh, tell me. Tally ho, fool! Tally ho, fools! There's a little Mr. T over him. All right, let's shoot the, sh the hell out of. Drive off them. Where are we going, Sam? Hey! <laughs> the skin body shit me stuff! After those rats. After those rats. Do those laughably small wheels move so Where the hell has my... You'll never catch up! the wheel, old buddy! Nice! I did you never ask! Hehehehehe! This kid, buddy, can't be stopped! You can't dodge my shots forever! Watch him! This kid, buddy, can't be stopped! Well... 
Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying. They have good reflexes. You can't dodge my shot forever. Watch it! This is buddy candy stuff! Shoot him, Sam! I'm trying. They have good reflexes. The skin buddies can't be- Like that, apparently. It won't work, Hey, the saving cream! Okay, hold on tight, little buddy. Mommy! Just taking the curb with him. Nah. Where are we going, Sam? Not pay for it. The TV studio. Goody! Can gain entrance now with the shaming cream. Hello again. Yes. Can we let's take Brilliant! Now that's what I call diseased. Thank you, thank you. First off, I'd like to thank all the little people who zip it. Okay, Max, you just realized your dog is walking death, and you'll have to put him down for the good of society. Really? You're sad. You're despondent. You're grief-stricken. Now, show me the emotion. Uh, boo-hoo? You call that emotion? I've seen Myra show more emotion, and she ought to be declared a national Botox reserve. Grief, I said. Give me grief. Uh... <laughs> Perfect. Now, the fateful moment has arrived. Despite your immense grief, you must put your beloved companion out of his misery. Okay. Uh -oh. <gasps> Idiot. What demonic force possessed you to do that? The demonic force called acting, Sam. You should try it sometime. Good thing I had my anti-hypnosis helmet built into my hat. Or I'd have one too many holes in the head. Bravo. Bravo! Such realism. Such authenticity. I was convinced you were actually shooting him. How did you do the sound effects? You don't want to know. The search for the Midtown Cowboys is over! Gorhan, head to the second store and we can begin filming immediately. Let's hurry, Sam! We only have 14 minutes and 55 seconds of fame left! Well, that is that is it for this episode. Next time we'll go in and see what's behind the door. Until then, take care.